And the next one we're going to do is a black and white image. So this is our image that we're going to work on here. So let's go ahead and just start with the basics. And I want to go ahead and um, basically let's just first of all take it to black and white. And there we go. And that looks horrible. We need to do a whole lot of work to it. Well, like I said earlier, first thing I'm going to do is bump up texture. And I'm going to bump up clarity, both of those. And, and this one, I will use some dehaze, just a little bit, just to help it out a little bit more than what it is. So I like kind of the texture that I'm getting there. Um, I want to set the black and the white points now. So let's go ahead, hold the Option or Alt key, and bring our blacks down to, we start to see them, like right there. That's looking good. And then our whites, let's set our whites. All right. Well, that's our whites, but that's way too much. This is one where visually you just have to kind of eyeball a little bit. And I think I like where that is right there with our white point. Now, when Ansel Adams did a lot of these sh shots in Yosemite, he really darkened down the sky. And that really made the mountains pop. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to start with the color temperature. Even though it's a black and white image, there was, we're still working on a color image. It's still behind there. So we're going to go ahead and take our color temperature and start to bring that down a bit. And I think I'm going to bring it right about, I think, there. Now, that actually helped add some more contrast to it. It really start, started to get the sky a little bit, but it really worked on the mountain. But now I really want the mountain, I mean, the sky to be black around it. So I'm going to go to my black and white adjustments. And I'm going to start with the blue. And just going to start bringing it down until I like what it's doing. Just like that. I think that's looking really, really good. I like that now. It's got that dark texture, and that's the way um, you know, Ansel used to do it, so I'm going to do that same thing. I also want to play around here with my yellow and my orange. The mountain was warmer. It was shot at sunset. So I'm actually going to bring these guys, the orange and the yellow, up just a little bit. And all this is really doing is working on some of the whites in here to bring those a little bit brighter and add a, add a little bit of contrast to it without blowing them out. So I think I'll do something like that. And I'll take my blue a little bit more. All right. So I got that where I want it. I now want to add a um, little bit of um, a vignette to it. And with something like this, we have to be careful. We're already working with a very dark sky. So we don't want to overdo this much. Um, so we're just going to bring this over just a little bit, bring our midpoint over, and really feather it. We can go ahead and take a look. And if it's too much, bring it back a little bit. And I like what's going on here. I mean, this to me is very reminiscent of Ansel Adams in it. Only thing I'm not liking is we've kind of blocked up some of our blacks here. So I'm going to go up to the brush tool. Double click effects to zero out everything and come up to shadows and just really pump it up so I can see what I'm doing and make sure my auto mask is turned off. Auto mask will try to keep it within lines. I want this to be more flowy, so we're just going to turn that off and I'm just going to come into some of these dark areas and see if I can get just a little bit more of the detail out of it. And there we go. I'm liking that. It's probably too much, so let's just take it down a little bit. And there we go. We went from you know, a colored image to this one really easily. And I love how this looks. I mean, I haven't printed this one yet, but it will be printed because I really like how this turned out.